What's up, Nick fans? All right. I am Victor Hatchba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today I will receive a channel. This channel I like so much, bro. I like so much. One more channel from United States, but not New York. From Ohio, people. Ohio. So welcome, welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel. Greg from Riding with the Knicks. Thank you so much, Victor, and hello to everybody watching this. I know you've got viewers from all over the world, so thank you, Victor, for uh, inviting me to be on the channel with you, and hello to everybody watching in Brazil and around the world, really, man. you got a beautiful thing going um, at Knicks Fans Brazil. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I talk I talk it with you in backstage. For me, it's a great honor né, bring you in this channel, and uh, I want to know so much né, about you in this interview. First of all, Greg, yeah. do you can introduce yourself for Brazilians? Sure, I'd love to. Uh, hello, everybody in Brazil. My name is Greg, and I have this small YouTube channel called Rock the Knicks. I started the channel because I live in Ohio now, but I was born in New York City. And Ohio is about 450 miles or a little over 700 kilometers from New York. New York is big city. Ohio is what you see behind me. You know, the yeah. trees and barns and farmlands. And nobody out here likes the Knicks. Everybody loves LeBron James. I'm in Akron right now, which is where LeBron is from. And so... Um, <laughs> I, I have three kids, two daughters and one son. I've been married for 10 years. I, um, I'm kind of a simple guy. I, I love my family. I think family is, is really some of the only, only stuff you really have on, in this life. And so I think relationships and family are very important. Um, and I love sports. I, I grew up, I didn't really know anything about basketball growing up. I, I grew up, my dad is from England. And so I grew up playing soccer oh. my whole life. <laughs> Oh, I great. Love soccer. <laughs> like that, that was my sport. I was watching in 2002 in Brazil in the World Cup. You know, I was I was watching. And so when like when I think about Ronaldo, I don't think Cristiano Ronaldo. I think the real Ronaldo who, you know, <laughs> bald yes. head Ronaldo. Yes. So um <laughs> so, so I didn't become a I didn't become a basketball fan until I really until I moved to Ohio in 2012. And the Knicks were great that season to um Carmelo Anthony and they were, you know, they had that 54 wins season and I, I was missing home and the Knicks were great. And so I, it just being a Knicks fan uh, made me feel like a New Yorker still. And so I, I fell in love with the team and then everybody knows we had a lot of hard years after that, you know, I, I, but I just, I, I love what, I love what the New York team means. I, I love the grit and the grind and the hard work. And I, I love that everybody loves to hate the Knicks. But soon um, we're going to be on top and uh, it's yes. nothing's going to be better than that. Not only in New York, but in Ohio and in Brazil and all Knicks fans everywhere will be celebrating. So, Man, you represent the Knicks in Ohio, man. It's a great, it's a great for me. Uh, I have a friend in Brazil. I said, né, about you. Uh, he's he he is uh, Kev's fans. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. He said, "Oh yeah, man." I am sad. I am sad with your with your friend Greg. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> but uh, you, you tell my, my, my tell friend, your friend. Oh, oh tell uh, your tell your friend if if he wants to come up here, we'll go to a Cavs game together. Yes, uh, <laughs> yes, Antonio Collar, it's a name from him. Uh, so, Greg, uh, you mentioned uh, about uh, uh, the Carmelo Anthony. So, uh, you do you start uh, your passion to the Knicks uh, uh, with Carmelo Anthony? Or, or other other reason another reasons oh really it was it was great that he was home 
And I had some friends from home that were watching the Knicks. And so when I would watch the games, I would be able to talk to them back home about what happened. And then I just fell in mm -hmm. love with the team. I, I loved J.R. Smith. I loved Iman Shumpert. I loved when we had Jason Kidd for a minute. Like, I just loved that they were putting something together. I loved Mike Woodson. Everybody loves Mike Woodson. And uh, <laughs> um, I just, I got a little taste of good. And so I just, I would go down to a, a local bar right by my house out here in Ohio and I would ask them to turn the Knicks games on for me. And they would put it on like a tiny little TV in the corner of the bar and I would watch <laughs> it there. And I didn't have, I, I couldn't get them on my TV in my house. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was something special. And, uh, and one of the hard years after that, give up on them. You know, they were dressed in Clint early and Hardway Jr., you know, and Kevin Knox and, Poor Zingas. Everybody had hopes for Porzingis. Phil Jackson came yeah. in. Everybody thought it was going to be better. It was terrible. And so it just kind of kept yeah. going down, but I was already hooked. <laughs> I, I already, I already, I already loved them. So I couldn't give up on them. And then I, I was talking to the, to my wife all the time here. Nobody, nobody, the next with me. And my wife was hired to the YouTube channel. Ah, great! You 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 frozen a little uh, when you talk it, but okay. uh, I understand. <laughs> uh, but um, you you mentioned eh, about the Knicks, but but uh, I am curious about your channel. Uh, how start na uh, your channel? Uh, do you can talk? Uh, I, I I know a description from your yeah. channel, but Brazilians don't. Okay. Yeah. Do you can do you can tell for us uh, how start uh, sure. your channel? Yeah, my my channel started because I love YouTube. I love platform YouTube. I think it's, it's great. I, I love YouTube. Um, I wanted to start a talk channel for years, but I didn't have the time to do it. I knew that it would take a lot of time to do it well. And um, then I had a change in my life. I, I used to drive, it only took me five minutes or eight minutes to get to work, but then my job changed cities and I was driving 40 minutes to work and 40 minutes back every day. And so I had this love of YouTube. I had this love for the Knicks and now I had all this extra time in the car. And I thought, hey, I could do something unique and shoot these videos of me just talking about the Knicks while while I was driving to work and since I'm driving my car and I'm thinking riding in my car, riding with the Knicks, it kind of just all came together for me. And what I want to do with the channel is I'm not the best. I'm not the best with statistics. I'm not the, I haven't been a Knicks fan my whole life. Um, a lot of guys on, on YouTube, including you could do a way better job um, at this than I can. So what is unique about my channel? Um, what I want to add to the conversation about the Knicks is I love the Knicks, but I, also love people and I, I know that life is hard and I want to be a channel that is inspiring and encouraging people and uplifting people I want to I want to um, for people who are having a hard time or they're depressed or they're feeling anxious or they they feel like nobody I want them to feel uplifted and, and joyful and inspired and if I have a chance to do that for a lot of people great if I have a chance to do that for a, a, a little group of people great i'm happy and so um it's funny because i didn't think that anybody would watch i didn't tell my friends about the channel i i just started posting videos and i would get zero views and zero subscribers and <laughs> slowly but surely that helped people and and i'm not a psychiatrist you know I'm, i'm not that but if i can help somebody um by just encouraging them and shining a different light on the game of basketball, then uh, that's really what I want to do. I want to say like, what can we learn from sports? What can we learn from basketball? And how can we help um, apply that to our lives to to make life a little easier? So yes. that's what you'll get if you come to my channel. That's that's what you're going to get, so. Ah, great, bro. I, I remember uh, from your channel, uh, a video, you with uh, Jersey Barrage, uh, the same yeah, yeah that's it <laughs> uh 
your your post, né, about the Barrett jersey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, oh, I remember. <laughs> I yeah, saw. Yeah, but that was a, saw, but that was, you know. Yeah, and then you, and then you were encouraging to me. You were a friend to me, and you didn't even know me. And I thought, who is this guy from Brazil? being nice to me for no reason. <laughs> and that's one of the beautiful things about being a Knicks fan <laughs> and about being on this community of YouTube is that I get to talk with somebody across the world for me. Um, and honestly, that that post was a failure. It didn't work. I, I wanted to Whoa. run a contest and give, a, give away a jersey. Um, and I, I was trying to use that as an incentive to get to 500 subscribers. But I don't know if I just, it, you know, the YouTube thing, you gotta, you kinda gotta live and learn, learn a little bit, make mistakes. I think I might've done the contest too early. And so I pulled, do something wrong. Ah, great. <laughs> and uh, Greg, now yeah. we talk do you can do you do you can talk about the new york knicks <laughs> let's talk about this team let's do it man let's do it man i want i want your opinion né, uh in this channel about né, the two the two né, new players uh with this team né, jalen brunson and uh Isaiah, uh hartenstein uh, I want your opinion. What do you think né, about these guys? Uh, what your expectations né, with these players? Talk, talk with us. Sure. I don't know much about Hartenstein. I know what people have said about him. Um, I think that he'll be a backup right for Mitchell Robinson. Uh, I'm hoping for Mitchell Robinson to have a big year. But really, I want to focus on Jalen Brunson. I think that the Jalen Brunson deal is a great deal for the Knicks. Um, and I'm happy for Jalen Brunson. I think that this is an example of having a, um, a competent or a strong front office. Um, these are the relationships that you're hoping to see happen with players and everybody, everybody loves to hate the Knicks. And so people are going to be talking, talking, talking <laughs> about what we did wrong. Maybe we paid him too much, or maybe we tampered or maybe like, I don't want to hear any of that. <sighs> The New York Knicks had in Brazil eyes, is the same, bro. Brazil is the same, yeah. bro. In Brazil is the same. Okay. And so, but the Knicks had a guy in Jalen Brunson that they wanted, and they did everything they needed to do to get him to sign with them. It was no questions. He was coming to the New York Knicks. He's a young guard. He's he's fiery. He's got a hard work ethic. And what the Knicks, one of the things the Knicks suffered from last year was having no point guard. Once Derrick Rose was out. Everybody struggled. And so I think that everybody's going to be better this year because Jalen Brunson is there and he's got something to prove. Yeah, and so I, I, I love that the Knicks got him. I think Randall's going to play better. I think, I think everybody's going to play better. I'm, I'm really excited. And I think that even if the Spider Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell deal, even if we do nothing there, the team is already better because we got Brunson on the team. I'm excited about him. Uh, me too, bro. Me too. Uh... Jalen Brunson, I, I love your energy. Uh, I love so much, né? Your energy. Uh, Zaya yeah. Hartenstein. Uh, I, I, in begin, I don't like it. But so many okay. people, bro, so many people uh, talking uh, good things about Zaya. Uh, I, I research about him. And uh, now I love this guy in this team uh this center uh with your uh skills uh can okay. be opened op open the floor now nah? open the floor and uh players uh, like uh jalen brunson uh julius randall and rj barrett loves uh making drives nah? drives yeah. in, uh, uh penetration yeah. infiltration and uh Isaiah hartenstein can be interesting in my opinion because open the floor for these guys. Né? Mitchell Robinson is more dunk, speak and roll. Né? Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah Hartenstein uh, uh, has a uh, uh, different uh, skills. 
I, I can be interesting from the Knicks now, but in begin, bro, I don't like it now. I like okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Does he have I, a I know, he, so, I, so he so he can shoot from the outside? Isaiah Hartenstein can shoot. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, okay, he can, okay. He cool. can shoot uh, three points. Uh, yeah. uh, people said for me, uh, he's a good passer. He's a he's a good passer. Uh, cool. Man, I, I I am curious about this guy mm -hmm. and Nick's. Uh, very 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 curious. And I I, I want Greg your opinion about this man. RJ, RJ Barrett. Oh, Greg. Yeah. Uh, everybody uh, I I receive, I bring in this channel, I make this question, okay? Uh, I want your opinion. Uh, RJ, ba RJ Barrett uh, can be a future all-star or not, in your opinion? I say 100% yes, he could be a future all-star. Yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> I, I think I think people I don't know why why he doesn't get more credit. He gets better every single year. He's not his game is not based on athleticism, so he's not going to get injured from big slam dunks or or whatever. And he's he's upped his defense. He's got a great demeanor, a great attitude. I, I don't know what people's problem is with this guy. He's a young kid who's getting better every year. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, I love him. I, uh, I like more you two now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Greg, about the, your high, né? Uh, six, yep. six, six, uh, six is one, six is one, Jalen mm -hmm. Brunson, and six is one, Donovan Mitchell. But man, uh, our team uh, will be so more, so more, more creative. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah. I I I can I can imagine it, the these players uh, together with Barrett, Julius Randle. Uh, you say you said né, uh, minutes before uh, yeah. will be better. Uh, he will be better. I, I, I think so. I think so. I think so. you uh, like you, uh, man. It's a it's a good team. In my mm -hmm. opinion, uh, but people talking so much né, about the uh, defense, but I, 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 I don't have uh, the, the, this feeling like so, so, so many, so many people do with you uh, uh, because I want your opinion. Uh, what's your expectations? Uh, this team expectations without, without uh, Donovan Mitchell in the in the the next season i'd like to see the knicks make the playoffs without donovan mitchell i don't i'm not Me talking too. about playing i'm talking about six or higher um with the addition of brunson and the other players getting better opinion okay uh knicks pl playing nah? and uh we we follow in first round been to it have you been to a knicks game in the garden no, but uh, I will this channel. Né? I, I will make a trip uh, uh, from New York. Uh, I, I, I like uh, next year, but I, I, if I, I don't know yet, né? but I, I, I won't make a trip um, with more 20 Brazilians uh, with me okay. from New York uh but uh, uh never before never before in new york so uh when is that when are you gonna make that trip 2023 or 2024 i i think more 24 but okay. i want and <laughs> in 23 i want because uh me and my wife uh will changing from new house now Okay. House, uh, yeah, yeah. it's in the finals yeah. of uh, of a uh, building building our our house it's complicated bro so much money so much money <laughs> yeah. uh, it's and lots lots bro. of lots of you're building a house uh it's a uh, i forgot this world man condominium okay, okay. condominium okay condominium yeah, yeah, yeah. my housing condominium mm -hmm. uh 
so it's complicated but i want bro i want i want yeah. uh, we'll go next year but we'll see then we'll see mm -hmm. <laughs> But well, you'll uh, have a lot a of great, people great... in New York that'll be happy to see you there. I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of guys on all these other YouTube channels and people who are watching. They'll be greeting you at the airport. You know, you'll have signs and stuff. Everybody <laughs> will cheer, cheering for you <laughs> in expand <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> uh, I am very curious about uh, everybody. Né? Uh, mm. I, I talk it né? in yeah. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, so many platforms. Uh, I am curious né, about yeah. this. Uh, I, I want to see everybody. I hope you uh, come to New York when uh, <laughs> I, I go to New York. I'm going. We'll be I'm going to go. If you're there, I'm, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it will, will be so, so cool, man. So cool. Uh, this trip. Mm -hmm. uh, I really, really, really make uh, happen this trip bro uh i love this team i talked with you in backstage now nah. i i am nick fan since 92 92 nah. yeah. so man mm -hmm. i i love really 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 love this team bro yeah yeah it shows, it and, shows. and uh greg uh really i love i love bring you in this channel i hope greg i hope you 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 enjoy too and i hope oh yeah so bring much. you and and uh another times in this channel okay. i i hope it's not the only interview with you bro i i hope i hope bring you and so many times in this channel yeah thank you so much thank you honestly it's this has been so uh fun to just talk with you and i'd love to come on the show again and uh I wish you all the best, man. You, like I said earlier, you're a special person, and anybody who talks with you knows that. And so, I wish you the best, man. Oh man, thank you, thank you so much. I like your channel too. I like it. I, 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 I talk, I talk it uh, with you in backstage. I, to, I talk it with you in this interview. I like it, bro. I like it. Uh, your project, uh, and uh, I, uh, for me, it's a great honor. Great honor. Uh, brings you in Nick Fans Brazil channel, uh, and I hope make a, a new interviews yeah. with you. Uh, Thank you. And uh, still Nick Fans together will be great, bro. Will be great. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, bro. Take care. See and, you. Uh, Thank you. See, see you, everybody. Bro. Thank you. Yeah. E aí, pessoal? Este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick Fans Brasil. Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick fan.